I want to say, oh, well, I believe the Bible literally. But then when it actually comes to trying to make it work, you just come up with something totally different. Well, you see, we've got this flat plane and the sun's going like this. Well, wait a minute. I thought you said that you take the Bible literally. Well, sunset, I mean, yeah, it's, by, it's from the perspective of the observer. Oh, oh, okay, so when you make the model, yep. then it's okay to take that liberty. But when someone else that says something that you don't like uses the same understanding of, of then, then it's a problem. Yep. Then it's, well, you're not taking the Bible literally. And look, I spent plenty of time trying to find a working model. Just someone, people who believe in flat earth, because a lot of people out there, I believe, genuinely believe this, a working model, a working model of the seasons, eclipses, time zones. Okay, there's so many factors that factor into the way our world works and distances. There's lots of different maps out there of the world and they all have their benefits and they all have their flaws. They all, they, they're used for different purposes because you're trying to represent, uh, and, and this is why there's been, you know, there, there are different maps, but they, again, they have different uses. So like you've got topographic, topographical maps, you've got the, the maps like the UN has on their flag where everything is flat on a disk that can show you the, um, the latitudinal lines going across, right? The, the, um, but the problem is, so let me put it this way. You have two different objects. Let's say, here's your competing theories. You've got a globe, a sphere versus a disk. Okay, and I know there's lots of people that do it all kinds of, let's just compare these two. It's actually really easy to show that there, there are some very simple measurements that because a globe has arcs, it has curves, when you're measuring distances, if you were to try to flatten that out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have problems because you can't take something that's inherently curved to, to make it flat. So your map's going to have problems. Now, if you have something that's automatically flat, well, you've got some really easy calculations that you can, that you can actually... And, and either way, you have easy calculations. So they're not, neither one is, is really complicated. My point is, even just measuring distances between places will give you your answer one way or the other. I mean, at least you'll be able to demonstrate, well, if you're saying it's this, and I'm saying it's this, they, they're incompatible when it comes to just physical measurements. Right. Completely incompatible. Exactly. Because your distance is going to be different on a straight line versus a curved line right. between two points. And there's so many ways to prove this, and I'm, I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself now with, with, with all the ways to prove this. Let's, um, let's stay here in Isaiah chapter 40 because I want to I'm not saying that this proves a disc or a globe because it says circle. I think circle can apply to either one because it, it can. Because if you're viewing something that's a circle, well, if you're looking at a disc from the top, it looks like a circle. Okay. If you're looking at a sphere, you're going to see a circle. Right. And if you can't acknowledge that, then you're just deceiving yourself. Amen. Either one can be called a circle. And in fact, if you really wanted to get really, really, really technical about it, if you take the, the two-dimensional object of a circle, which has a definition of every point on the circumference being equal distance from the center of how you even get a circle, is that every single point is, has the same distance. It's a definition. And apply that to a three-dimensional object, you will have a sphere. Because every single point on that surface is going to be equal distance from the center.